We in Mexico. Um, we are in Mexico City. We <laughs> change a turn of events. <laughs> yeah, quite a turn of events. We've been looking at like some international flights for like a month or so now. And we decided on Mexico City. It was a very affordable flight and it's very affordable to stay here. So we're here. What I like about this place is that there's so many like beautiful towns and national parks like surrounding Mexico City. Um, like within like an hour or two hour drive away so We're we definitely get some have point. some plans on like getting outside and doing some cool things but for right now we're kind of just embracing the city life it's different which for us, is for sure very overstimulating for us but it's very cool i'm stoked i'm, I'm glad stoked we decided too. to come so what are we gonna do here well, we're in the city for a couple days yeah and then i think we're gonna head to somewhere the mountains or more like volcanoes we brought everything we yeah. brought all of our camping gear all of our climbing all gear. of our climbing gear we have kind of like a rough idea of what we want to do it's just like no definite plans so we're, we're just ready we're prepared for anything <laughs> we're just here in mexico <laughs> Papas on it, potatoes. Looks so good. Oh my god. I'm glad I asked that guy. Some dude was standing there like eating this. And I was like, ¿Qué es esto? <laughs> and he told me what to order. So I'm like, okay, I'll just, that makes it easy. Yeah. Just ask somebody else what they're having. Otherwise I would have had no idea what to order. I would have been like, uh, tacos? <laughs> yeah. I don't even know like what meat they have or anything. So this side's gonna be muy picante. Is it good? <laughs> so good. It's like almost better than what we had last night. Oh, at a fancy restaurant. Yeah. Está bien? Mm. Seriously, if we could eat so tacos good. and Mexican food every day. Well, tacos are already our favorite. Yeah. But to have real... These are really good. So good. enjoying some people watching right now. Kids are playing, dogs are playing, even all the adults are playing right now. Thank you. 
So, um, it's what, our third day in Mexico? Our yeah. Third day in Mexico City, and we're leaving our Airbnb to try and find an adventure somewhere. Um, we're wanting to go to a spot called Nevado de Toluca, which is like a volcano crater lake spot. And yeah, we're gonna go for like a pretty decent like ridge traverse. Um, hopefully stay in a hut. Um, we do have a friend who we met on Instagram um, named Patty, who's gonna be driving us there. So that's super helpful. We don't have to try and navigate the bus system. But we're trying to figure out what to bring and whether or not the hut is open and there's just a lot of logistics involved. So yeah, but we're going on an outdoor adventure finally after spending two days walking around the city. Uh, yeah, are we bringing a tent or? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of banking on the hut being open. I guess we won't bring the tent and then yeah. maybe when we get to the parking lot we can see if- We can get more information once yeah. we get there. There's so much like logistics involved. Like we're, we don't have a rental car. Like we don't know just... how to speak the language. That's like the hardest thing. If we could speak the language, I think we'd be able to figure it out. Yeah. But like, it's hard to ask people simple questions like, where can I camp? <laughs> you know, I have to Google it. Anyways, I am looking forward to going outside though and getting away from the city a little bit. Um, it's just like a lot. A lot. So it'll be nice to just be like alone in the mountains with some clean air, you know? <laughs> Another thing too is there's no like water source out there. So we have to bring all of our water. Um, yeah, just like all the logistics. It's a lot. Just to think about, you know? What do you think? I'm loving today. It's beautiful, huh? It's beautiful. The most beautiful. I, I, I haven't seen it. You've never seen it like this? No. Huh. What's up? Patty's the best. Patty is the best. Patty, you're the best. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> you are cool. <laughs> you hear that, babe? We're cool. Oh, God. Not as cool as Patty. What do you think? I Well, I think I just ran like two steps and I'm out of breath, so. Yeah. I love the clouds, though. Yeah, it's beautiful. First mountain hut experience for us. <laughs> I got the only key. <laughs> Don't lose it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can figure it out. <laughs> it's nice. It's probably pretty dark in here, huh? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh. Mountain hut life. Hopefully we'll get the place to ourselves. We'll see if anybody else comes. I see. go on this little walk <laughs> and uh, definitely feeling it you know the elevation we're at what like 13,000 feet yeah about 13,000 mm. and we're not too far from the park that's lot. how far we've gone <laughs> so Patty will tell you it's not that far <laughs> but but it's good because it'll be nice to acclimate a little bit because tomorrow we're gonna be pretty much on these mountains all day long which tomorrow. are we're going up to the ridge line. You know, I think the longer we walk, the more it gets easier. You feel a little better. Yeah, so. The blood gets pumping. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nice to be out. No, don't worry, don't worry. No, it's okay. Adios, Adios. <laughs> Bye. We're all alone now. We're alone. <laughs>
<laughs> alone in the mountains of Mexico. <laughs> And I'm going to my castle. <laughs> I know. I want to pet these kettles, so. though. You got some big paws. like little windows in this uh, little hut here and we saw that the sunset was uh, kind of firing kind of firing it's nice come out and check it out Is it a good morning? No, <laughs> it's not a good morning. It's kind of a terrible, <laughs> miserable morning. Yeah, last night, um, Cody and I were trying to go to sleep. I think we were like, we went to sleep at like seven. We tried to, and literally we exhausted. could not fall asleep all night. We had just like a terrible headache and just nauseous. And it was I like, think I slept literally an hour, if yeah. that. So we uh, definitely got some altitude sickness, and that's first my time. first experience. Yeah, our first experience with that, um, and it was miserable. It's still a little miserable, but we were supposed to start hiking this morning at 6.30, but we're like, that's not happening. You know, you got to make the safe calls sometime and get your ego out of the way. Yeah, there's but. absolutely no way I could have gone up. Spend just, enough time in the mountains, you're bound to get altitude sickness. I'm just feeling kind of like uh, a wimp, I guess. I agree. I was just like trying to tell myself last night, I was like, just oh, just be strong. Like, <laughs> I thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I literally did not sleep. Needless to say, we failed. We failed miserably. And it sucks. We don't fail a lot, I feel like. But yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess it's just meh, 15,000 feet. Never yeah. been that high before, but should be fine. <laughs> I haven't been training either. Yeah. Should be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so if you do decide to come up here, uh, make sure you acclimate a little bit or you'll end up like this. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> it's so bad. Well, Want to go for a little walk? Oh, yeah, we can try. <laughs> Surprisingly, I feel okay. I don't think I would want to do the whole ridge. We were going to go up to the top and all the way across the mountains today. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be able to do that, but hiking up here was pretty chill.
crazy up here.